Hello! In this tutorial on Anchor Death, which actually my first tutorial on Anchor Death, I would like to tell what is Anchor Death and write a Hello World program to uh, demonstrate it. Okay, Anchor Death is a library for Linux which actually, which we can use actually to uh, make uh, uh, make something with the terminal, for example, move something to the screen and write th there something, or clear the screen, or m use colors, or uh, wait a character, so if we press the up arrow or the down arrow, then we don't have to press enter to accept it, like the libraries in the standard uh, C++, so we can make with simple games with it, so e old stylish simple games with it, and um, we can make menus for it for um, programs uh, in t the terminal, or you we can make text editors like Wim or Nano. Okay, uh, uh, not any system the anchor that. Uh, is installed by default. To install it, use the co use your favorite uh, package manager like sudo apt apt get install, and the name of the package is anchorzest development, like that. Okay, and uh, yeah, after you installed it, you be you will be able to compile our uh, our program. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to include the anchorzest library, obviously. So, include anchorzest.h. This is the m name of the anchorzest library. So, you will fi uh, you will find this uh, header file in the usr so slash usr slash uh, include. Okay the aged extension is needed because it is not a standard library. Okay, so the program which we will write is just write out the hello world, so really nothing interesting for now. Uh, so first thing you want to do is to initialize the screen. So init scr. This is allocate the needed memory and so on. So initialize everything so we can use it. Clear the screen for example in most of the implementation it will clear it. Okay and uh, the end of it we use the end win. Then this is deallocate the memory which we allocated and uh, make our normal terminal mode back. Okay, and now write out something. We use the print w for that. This is the standard write out for the anchor set and write out the hello world as we did in the first C++ tutorial. Okay, we call a function called refresh, refresh, although probably it would work without it, but in most cases when we write something to the screen, it will not write to the directly to the screen, it will write to the memory. And when we call the refresh, it will write everything out at once. So uh, this is good if you want to mi make more action, for example, set every character to something, then if there is no refresh, then your, <coughs> your screen would blinking because it would go through every character, mostly in a slower computer. So with this method to write the memory and then write it uh, directly to the screen at once, this will be much quicker, okay? Because this would immediately uh, uh <coughs> exit from the anchor death mode, we have to use something called get ch uh, we use for that to pause the program while we see something so uh, af uh, this will actually wait for a character and in default it's uh, wait until the user press the character and when I press something it will uh, exit the program because yeah oh I'll show you okay uh, there is something uh, you have to 
uh, change the normal compile so if we use the okay like that and you have to use the L and curses like that if you don't use that you will get a linkage error I've already demonstrated the linkage error so after you save the program you will get a linkage error as you can see because it cannot find uh, the implementation of this function I have already demonstrated in the header file lesson what is a linkage error so you should be already familiar to it uh, so it cannot find where to search it so you use the L and the cursors uh, usually everything like this start with an L and then the name of the library so it will know where to search it simple that's what it means so as you can see it's compiled now without a problem so now I can run the program and as you can see it's cleared the screen on my implementation and probably yours too and write out the hello world text and if I press any button now for example enter this will exit from the courses mode and courses mode all right and that is for this tutorial it is a pretty simple program that we wrote and I don't know that I did I say that the end of this little tutorial series we write the snake game you know in old school is snake game so so here is my snake game just for demonstrate um, demonstration purposes uh, there is some little food there so if I get it then the snake will grow one and if I go out from as you can see it is game over in this case so we can run it again and as you can see that will that's what we write out in a case of every 100 uh, point the snake will uh, be a little quicker so it is a little harder and as you can see in the left lower uh, corner it's right out uh, the, my point if the snake goes itself then it is game over as well okay that's for just demonstration thank you for watching and have a great day